And today, a group of veterans has an action packed day ahead of them. Yep, they are leaving BNA, uh, headed to our nation's capital for an honor flight today. And News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald is at the airport, and she was able to catch them and talk to them before they left. So, what's on the agenda today for them? Well, they are doing things that some of them have never experienced before in lives that have had so much going on. These veterans from the Korea War, Vietnam War, and World War II are heading to D.C. to see war memorials built in their honor. We did talk to them this morning, several of them, 26 in total, are going to be on that flight. And they are with Guardians 2, which are volunteering their time to accompany these very deserving men. We are uh, going to be able to show you one veteran in particular who lives in Lebanon now. He was a prisoner of war at nine years old, but decided to enlist because he was rescued by American troops in Japan during World War II and wanted to pay it forward. Without a veteran standing up, uh, we wouldn't have much of a country. And uh, as I was saying, I like to look at the flag. When I see the flag, I see a red, white, and blue insurance policy. But like all policies, somebody has to pay the premiums. I couldn't have said it better myself. This is the 10th year that the Honor Flight of Tennessee Group has put on these flights for groups like this one this morning. They have sent more than 600 local veterans to D.C. And like you mentioned, this is a one-day event, so they're going to be back here by 1030 tonight after seeing the memorials, getting a blue light procession through D.C. and into Maryland, where they'll also be at Arlington Ceremony uh, Cemetery. So they will have many memories made today up north in Nashville. I'm Hannah McDonald. Back to you.